Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today's lesson is about money and our substrate is percentage profit. From our previous lesson, we learned what profit is. And we realized that profit is the extra money you make after you sell an item on a higher price than the way you bought it. So let's get the formula for getting percentage profit. To get profit, we say profit is equals to selling price, take away cost price. And this cost price, as we learned, can be buying price. It can also mean the total uh, expenditures that you incur when trying to do a business transaction. Therefore, the percentage profit is equals to profit of a buying price or cost price multiplied by a hundred. Therefore, this profit itself is selling price minus cost price. So it is selling price minus cost price. All these divided by buying price, also called the cost price, multiplied by a hundred. In this example, we are told that Canini bought a bag of lemons for shillings 150 and sold it for shillings 180. What was the percentage profit? The question is how to get the percentage profit. And we know percentage profit is equal to profit over a cost price or the buying price. Then we multiply by a hundred. So if you apply this formula, we are going to get our percentage profit. But now we don't have the profit. Therefore, we apply the formula for getting the profit. And profit is equal to selling price, take away cost price. Therefore, for us to get the profit, our selling price is 180 and our cost price is 150. So when you take away, we get 30. Therefore, 30 is our profit. Now we put it back to the formula, which is 30 of our cost price or the buying price, which was 150 multiplied by 100. Zero goes with zero. By 15, one. By 15, two. Two times 10, it's 20. And this 20% because percentage profit. In this example, we are told that Juma bought a piece of land at shillings 120,000 and sold it in one year later at shillings 125,000. What was his percentage profit? To answer this question, you need to analyze step by step. You need to know what we are given in the question. You also need to know what we are looking for. In the question, we are told this is the buying price. So the, he bought the piece of land at 120000 So this is the buying price or the cost price that he incurred in purchasing that piece of land. Then we are also given the selling price. He sold it all after one year. So this is the selling price, which is 125000 And what is the question? The question is, we look for the percentage profit. After analyzing your question, now you write down the formula. And the formula for getting percentage profit is equal to the profit over cost price or buying price multiplied by 100. If you look at the question, we don't have the profit, so we need to get the profit. And how do we get the profit? Profit is equal to selling price, take away buying price or the cost price we quit whatever you're given the selling price is 125,000 and our cost price is 120,000 therefore we take away zero take away zero 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 five take away zero is five zero and zero so the profit is five thousand once you get the profit Profit now we proceed to getting the percentage profit by applying our formula. So our profit now is five thousand. 
and our cost price is 120,000. So you multiply by 100. These two zeros they cancel. Remember, it's like a cross multiplying numerator and denominator. This two also they cancel that. By two, it's six. By two, it's 25. And now we have answer is 25 over 6. You don't leave your answer like this. You simplify. Remember, it's not good to leave your answer in improper fraction. Always be changing your improper fraction to the mixed fraction. By saying numerator divided by denominator. So 25 divided by 6, it's 4 because of 24 remainder 1. So this 4 takes up our whole number. And 1, our remainder, takes up the fraction part. And these are percentage and our answer is four and a six percent so this is our percentage profit in this question we are told that a shopkeeper sold a shirt for 90 shillings making a profit of 20 percent what was the buying price the first thing as you read through the question you analyze step by step so here we are given the selling price because of the word sold. So the selling price is 90 shillings. The percentage profit, whatever I've given here is percentage profit. Is 20%. And we are being asked what was the buying price. This is whatever you're being asked about. We are looking for the buying price, which is also the cost price. So how do we come up with that? And we are only given two things. But funny thing here, we don't know the profit. We are only given the percentage profit. So here we do what we call percentage relation. That is, we relate the percentages by knowing a fact that a fact that cost price. Of the buying price it's always equal to a hundred percent when it comes to percentage relation the cost price or the buying price is always equal to a hundred percent therefore it means that we need to learn how to get the selling price percentage To get the selling price percentage, it means that for you to get a 20%, the buying price was 100%, but you made an extra of 20 shillings when you were selling for you to get a profit. Therefore, the selling price percentage will be 120 in terms of percentage. You have added 20 to, to 100 to get 120 which is the selling price. In other words, if our selling price percentage is 120, to get the profit will be 120%, take away 100%, which will go back to 20%. Therefore, here, we cross multiply. So you say, if our selling price was 90, so if 120% is equal to 90 shillings, what about 100% for the buying price or for what you call the cost price will be equal to what? So we don't know the value of, of this. And you, as you can see, you arrange the percentages on the percentage side and quantities on the quantity side. So you're looking for a quantity here that you don't know. So whatever you don't know, we call it X. So you cross multiply. As you cross multiply, it's 90 times 100 is equals to 120x. We want x to divide here by 120 and here by 120. 0 goes with 0. By 3, 4. By 3, 3. By 2, 2. By 2, 5. By 2, 1. By 2, 15. 15 times 5. 25 carry 2. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 2 is 7. So, now we get our buying price was shilling 75. 
and that's why he was able to make a profit because he sold more than when he bought the item so you are looking for a quantity quantity let's do our next example jen sold eggs for shillings 110 she made a profit of 10 percent what was the buying price so we analyze our question in this question we are given the selling price and we are also given the percentage profit so we are looking for buying price therefore here we use percentage relation that is we know that buying price or the cost price is percentage is always a hundred percent our second thing we need to get the selling price percentage and how do we get it because of this profit it means that he sold more than a hundred by ten that is a hundred plus ten because he made a profit so he sold the item at 110 percent this 10 makes him to get a profit of 10 percent therefore now we use cross multiplication because at least we know selling price percentage in the equation we are given the selling price so for us to cross multiply we need to get the selling price percentage so we say if 110 percent is equals to 110 shillings what about a hundred percent for the buying price will be equal to what so this percentage side this quantity side we cross multiply 110 percent is equals to 110 times 100 and this is our x there we are looking for that unknown so you want x to divide here by 110 and also by 110. And our x is equals to by 110 1 by 110 1, which is 100 shillings. As you can see, this is our buying price or cost price. You should be able to predict your answer because if you look at the question, there's no way the cost price can be more then the selling price and yet there was a profit it is for you to realize a profit you must sell more than the buying price or the cost price and in this case our buying price was 110 shillings and our buying price is 100 shillings let's do our next example halima bought 50 bananas each three shillings she spent 75 shillings for transportation during transportation Fat bananas got spoiled, but she sold the rest, making a 20% profit. For how much did she sell each banana? So this kind of a mathematical problem, we need to read step by step as we analyze the question. It's a very easy question, but we need to read it slowly, step by step. So Alima bought 50 bananas at shillings 3 each. At that point, we need to get the buying price. That is, one banana was costing three shillings how much will it cost 50 bananas you need to get the buying price so you cross multiply this is our x unknown so our x is equal to three times 50 and our buying price or the cost price is equal to 150 shillings she spent 75 shillings for transportation so all these expenditures are what you call cost price now we need to put together all the cost price so total cost price will be the cost for buying and the cost for transportation which is 75 shillings put together our cost price is going to be 150 shillings plus 75 shillings which gives us a total of 0 plus 5 is 5 5 plus 7 is 12 carry 1 which is 2 and the cost price is 225 during transportation five, ban uh, five bananas got spoiled so five are getting spoiled so what, what are we doing we need to know how many bananas are we remaining with so out of 50 five got spoiled meaning that 50 take away the spoiled ones remain with 45 so these remaining ones are what we are selling or so this remaining one is what she sold 
and we are told that she sold the rest of the bananas making a 20% profit. For how much did she sell each banana? So this point we shall answer it later. But right now, we need to get the selling price percentage. And our selling price percentage, we remember that the buying price percentage is always is equal to 100%. Therefore, the selling price percentage, because he made a 20% profit, it means that he sold more than 100% by 20, which is 120%. Our buying price or cost price is 225. Therefore, if 100% is equal to 225, what about 120% for the selling price will be how much? So once we cross multiply, whatever you don't know is an X here, we cross multiply. Our X, which is 100X, is equal to 225 times 120. You want our X to divide by 100 on both sides? And 0 goes with 0, by 5 it's 2, by 5 it's 4 because of 20, and 5 because of 25. By 2, 1, by 2 it's 6. Therefore, 45 multiplied by 6, 6 times 5 it's 30, carry 3, 6 times 4 is 24, plus 3 is 27. So the selling price is equal to 270. Now, we are being asked for how much did she sell each banana? And how many bananas are there? They are 45. Remember, they were initially 50, but 5 got spoiled. Meaning that she only remained 45 to sell. 45 bananas are going for 270. What about banana? one banana is equal to what? You cross multiply. You get 45x. Is equal to 270. So we divide here by 45 and here by 45, and we get is equal to six shillings. Therefore, each banana was going for six shillings. Our answer is six shillings. That is Kenyan shillings per banana. I wish you the best and kindly subscribe, click the notification bell, and also practice. Remember, practice. Next part. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.